Well, as some kids head back to school, there's another virus to watch out for. The CDC is warning of an unexpected spike in acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, a polio-like illness that affects kids. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has some simple but important signs parents should know. It was July 2018. Orville, there in the blue shirt, was three. Two days later, the healthy toddler was ill. He couldn't use his arm at all. It wouldn't lift at all. And so we rushed to the ER and spent a week there getting treatment while it got progressively worse. Orville was diagnosed with acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, a polio-like illness that affects kids by weakening them and causing paralysis. Orville's foot and leg became numb, too. The family's been getting treatment here at Gillette's. In fact, they are one of the country's leading experts on AFM, and the staff here is on watch for a spike. The CDC has alerted us that this is a common year where we might expect to see a spike in acute flaccid myelitis cases. Overall, Dr. Angela Center says it's a rare diagnosis. A few hundred kids a year get it, but parents should know the signs. A child that may have acute flaccid myelitis will have weakness in their limbs. They may be falling. They may have trouble walking on their own. They may be a crawling where they should be walking more typically. So that weakness is a common symptom. Some patients are so weak they need ventilators. She says it's caused by a virus, but like the young family, it starts with a cold and in some children turns into AFM. We do not understand why that one child will be affected with acute flaccid myelitis while other siblings in the same home may not have that finding. She says one thing they do know, even amidst COVID, it's important to get kids with symptoms to the doctor fast, as AFM can have long-term effects. As for Orville, he's had to have a nerve transplant, but is considered lucky, and he knows it. Can you tell me how you're feeling? Good. Wait. In St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. There is some hope that because so many people are washing hands and wearing masks, it may slow the spike in AFM cases this fall.